Yo, what is up guys, Ghost here, and today we've got a couple of small but quite meaningful updates to go over. Firstly, after having buffed Dozer in, I believe it was just prior to Season 5, if memory serves, DICE have now realised that he's a bit too strong and they have a nerf coming for him. And then secondly here, if you're one of the console players that has been having issues with your aim since the last update, which is apparently linked to uniform soldier aiming, DICE have made, oddly a server-side update to correct this problem, or they're going to make a server-side update to correct the problem. So we're going to talk about those changes and everything they entail, and then I want to end the video on the subject of interest for Battlefield 2042 in general, and all of our feelings surrounding that. As always though, if you do enjoy the content here on the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any future videos. Hit the like, join the Discord, and all that good stuff. And as always guys, thank you ever so much for your ongoing support. Alright, so first up here, let's talk about Mr. Espinoza, aka Dozer. So, back a few updates ago, DICE buffed the crap out of Dozer. They allowed him to have his riot shield up whilst on zip lines. They decreased the time it takes for you to pull out his shield, and they also increased his movement speed with his shield up. Now, for the most part, these changes were solid. Dozer had long been one of the worst specialists in the game, in my opinion. Certainly the worst assault specialist in the game. So, I feel these changes were definitely warranted. However, I don't think DICE really anticipated what he would become, which as we all know, is a shield bashing maniac. Right now, there is not really a whole lot you can do against the raging bull if he comes charging straight for you. In fact, I recently made a video on how to counter Dozer, what can damage him through his shield and what can't. And if you want to watch that one, uh, go ahead because the results were actually quite surprising. But the gist of it is that if you engage him with enough range, you know, you can do things like shooting his little feet, you can throw an incendiary or bounce a grenade underneath him. But the main annoyance, at least for me, is that if he suddenly appears around a corner like 10 meters away from you and then proceeds to charge straight at you, there really isn't a damn thing that you can do about it. Before the Dozer buffs, you had a much better chance of actually outrunning him or strafing around him to stab him in the back, but now that his movement speed has been buffed, there is just no escape. You can't shoot his feet, you know, you're too close to chuck a nade or anything like that, and he's just gonna one-shot you. So DICE have finally realised this, and to attempt to combat the problem, they're reducing his shield bash ability's range from 2.15 metres to 1.85 metres. Now that's a good start, I suppose, but I don't think that's going to be enough to stop him insta-killing you when you try and flank around him. For me, the main problem here is that his shield can one-shot you. If it was up to me, I would make his shield a two-shot, just like a regular melee strike. The way I see it, Dozer's shield's purpose is to protect him from fire whilst crossing an open area, or whilst on a zip line. Basically, whilst you're traversing from place to place, especially with these large open battlefield maps that we have in Battlefield 2042. I just don't think it should be as powerful a weapon as it is at the moment, and I'm not sure if a 16% reduction to its range is going to be sufficient in curbing that role. Now moving on here, a lot of you guys, especially those of you who play on console, have been fretting about your aim not feeling correct or feeling right since the last update. I've heard lots of different takes on this, everything from dice messing up your settings to aim assist not working anymore, etc. And it turns out that you were absolutely correct. Surprise, surprise, DICE did actually mess something up, and this is what they have to say. Next week, we'll be releasing a small server-side hotfix to resolve an issue surrounding unintended amounts of sensitivity whilst aiming down sights with uniform soldier aiming. Stay tuned for exact timings of when this change takes place. So in a classic DICE move, they went ahead and implemented uniform soldier aiming for everybody, making that the default setting and then somehow cocked it up in an update that seemingly had nothing to do with aiming whatsoever. But good news is that apparently this hotfix should resolve all that. However, I, I really do question how a hotfix, which for those unaware is a server-side change, meaning you won't have to update your game client at all, is going to fix that. Now, I'm not a game dev or a programmer or anything, 
but I would have assumed that any bugs within the settings for the game would require a client update. So I really am intrigued as to what the problem actually is and how a server side update can fix things. Anyway, hopefully sooner rather than later, we'll find out exactly when this can be expected. Okay, finally here, let's move on to Battlefield 2042 interest as a whole. So earlier on Twitter, I was reading this tweet from Mary, aka the Cad Woman, and it just really connected with the way that I've been feeling. So she says, very sad to see more and more creators and players go on a break or stop playing 2042 entirely, but I can totally understand them. Season 5 doesn't grab me as much as former seasons, and the current bugs don't make it any better. And here she's quote tweeting Sergeant Danger Cow, another creator, who says he's going to stop making videos on Battlefield 2042. Now, I've also recently seen that Silk, I know some of you guys watch and enjoy his content, he apparently is also ceasing his scheduled content at least. So he tweeted out the other day saying, Today marks my last scheduled stream and the end of scheduled uploads for the foreseeable future. A huge thanks goes out to my community and the Battlefield scene as a whole. We made a lot out of a game that's been on life support ever since release. Streams aren't totally dead, but from now on, I will stream when I want to stream. Same thing with YouTube, I will upload when there is something worthy and interesting to upload. I hope DICE and EA get things together for the community's sake, there's a lot of talent in this space. So as a creator who bases his content around Battlefield 2042 myself, you know, I can really relate to this. I don't know what it is about season five, but it just doesn't seem to be holding my or the rest of the community's interest the same way the previous seasons did. Maybe it's the fact that it is arguably more bare bones of a season, what with, you know, no new specialist, no new vehicle, and no new vault weapons, but on the other hand, I think it largely has something to do with the game just getting older. Most of the fixes and the big changes that we're going to see to the game feel like they're already here, and despite the confirmation of a season 6, there's still an air of uncertainty over the future of the game. Then add into the mix that there is a constant barrage of brand new fantastic games out there that you could be playing, and I find Battlefield 2042 is managing to hold my attention a little bit less with each passing season. Maybe that's just a normal thing. It's quite tricky. I can't quite put my finger on why I feel this way, but I'd be interested to know if I'm alone here or if any of you guys can relate to this feeling. So please, if you have the time, leave a comment below. I will leave it at that for now, guys. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like and check out this video here on the new control game mode if that takes your fancy. As always, thank you for spending some time with me here today and I'll see you guys in the next one.